well. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Question of the Week. Yes, I am aware that we are a day early. It's a Saturday, not Sunday, but you know what? It's my fucking channel, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. And what I want to do is ask my Question of the Week question right now. So this is a Question of the Week question that has been posed a few times by myself and others. I've actually talked about this with some brewmasters. Uh, me and Joe actually talked about this with an owner of a brewery just a few days ago. And that is session IPAs. Now, before we... What's your definition of session IPAs? Now, there's two main definitions of it. Uh, now, let's not even talk about the fact that it's just a hoppy pale ale. Because that's what it is. It's a hoppy pale ale that people are trying to make their own style of. So they can win more awards. So there's more styles of beer. Because who doesn't want more styles of beer? I mean, there's over 70 already. Let's make more. Let's make more! Uh, anyway. So forget about the fact that it's a hoppy pale ale. The two main schools of thought on the Session IPA is that it's just a full-on IPA with the full hop bitterness, full hop flavor, but low ABV. Or a IPA that has low, low ABV all the aroma and all the flavor of the hops, but not the bitterness. Now, for me, my definition of a Session IPA is that one. Because a Session IPA that has so much bitterness, say 70 IBU or 60 IBU, like the, uh, the one from Fatheads, just too bitter to drink a six-pack of. Uh, I know there are people out there that will, but you drink a six-pack of a super bitter IPA, and you can't taste anything. Your taste buds are gone, they're shot, they're fucked, and you wake up with the worst case of cotton mouth of your life. You drink a six-pack of a hoppy pale ale that has all the flavor of the hops, all the aroma of the hops, and nothing happens to you. And you can share it with people that wouldn't normally drink an IPA. So, what is your definition of it? And what's your favorite one so far? Uh, I really do like the Firestone Walker one I had. I really do like the Silversmith one of the Three Feathers. The new Three Feathers. The first Three Feathers I had was horrendous. But the new Three Feathers actually works out quite well. I'm also an actual big fan of Detour IPA when it's super fresh. So what is, uh, what's your definition, and then what's your favorite one? Because I want to try every one I can get my hands on, so I'd like to know which ones to jump on. Thank you guys, have a wonderful night, and bye, bye.